Okay, we're back with the 46 Dodge truck. I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. So what I did was I uh, got the truck on blocks and the weight of the truck sitting on the front wheels. And so I have uh, some extra weight on top of the engine to make up for the motor uh, oil and the water and manifold and radiator and some miscellaneous stuff. Tried to get it somewhat in the ballpark of the weight. And then I put the uh, back of the frame on blocks and I leveled the frame so the frame is level but the body's angled towards the front. So this is the stance it's going to have. Then I have the rear wheels are sitting on blocks and I put the smaller wheels on so I could get the bed together. And so now what I'm doing is working on getting the running boards mounted and the bed mounted. Okay, so I made this one by one by one eighth thick uh, structural steel tube that goes underneath the floor and over top of the transmission and it bolts into this rocker panel and I put a piece of uh, eighth inch one by one angle iron up into the rocker panel and plug welded it in on both sides and then I got this 5 16 uh, carriage bolt also holding it on there and what that's doing is that's holding up the running boards and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. So I made these brackets and I have two 5 16 carriage bolts coming down through the running board and that's holding the front of the running board on and it's located off of the fenders, front fenders. Okay, so now you can see I can actually stand on the running board and it's pretty stiff and uh, I still have to stick some bolts in the back support and I'll show you the back support now. Okay, so this is the bed. I have the bed put on and I made uh, these one by one tubes coming across to support the bed and I put the three quarter inch pine on top just to take up some space to make up for the oak that's going to be there later. And you can see I I put a piece of angle going down from the second support from the front to the front and that stiffened everything up so that the bed doesn't want to tilt from front to back. None of the bolts are tight and the bed's pretty firm in the front but not in the back because I don't have the back connected yet. But uh, you can also see them starting to mock up where the ladder bars are going to be. I also bought a uh, uh, Panard bar and it's for a Camaro and I'm going to end up using that instead of using leaf springs. So I'm going to go out and get some bags in a couple months and then when I cut the frame I'll leave enough room that I could stick uh, two bags that are they're about eight inches in diameter. So this is uh, looking at the back of it and just wanted to point out that this is what the truck looks like when you chop four and a quarter inches out of it. I chopped four and a quarter out of the front, four and a quarter off the rocker and I left the bed where it was so that picked the bed up to match the body line and if you look real close you could probably see the bed mount that I have there in the front and, and you gotta love those slots in the back everybody has a spare pair of slots just to do work like this there'll be other rooms on there later see ya